think we have started. Now we've officially started? <coughs> yeah. Official. <coughs> no, just... I'm cutting you off. Sorry. <laughs> no, we're just in it. No, yeah. I mean, that's sure. where we were going to get. Well, no. I feel like anyone, you probably have like a headline like up there that says. Well, like, it might be like. Cancer I'm... Rats. Liam from Cancer Rats. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So well, they know. Uh, well, they'll know for sure. Yeah. They know for sure. Yeah, it's true. If there was any like worry. There wasn't any doubt. They'd be like, uh, does Liam have an afro? <laughs> We're good. I think we can just we yeah, can just for, keep going. For sure. Well, here's a question then. What what did you guys grow up listening to? You know, your band. You guys gotten uh, an really interesting sound. We're definitely all over the place. Sorry, I, th- I thought for a second when you said like your band. I was oh. like the the difficult part of the the question is that we like three of us definitely grew up in the exact same way. So like like many youths growing up in the mid 90s into skateboarding, right? Yo. So we were into punk rock and hip hop. If you're 30 years old right now, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You yeah. rode a skateboard, you listened to No Effects, Rancid, Lagwagon, No Use for a Name. Yo, you know, A. That Foley, shit was so cool back in the day. Diesel Boy. Yeah, oh, yeah. anything on Fat Rack. You would buy the, oh, yeah. the you know, Survival of the Fattest Comp. You went to Warp Tour every year. You of course. Know? And then from there you got into like that's how you found out about metal. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, seriously. So that's the that's I would say like that's three quarters of our band. Um, the other member of our band, the obvious metal dude, yeah, Scope, yeah. our guitar player. Surprisingly, grew up listening to metal, so he was super into like. <laughs> I never would have called that. Yeah. White Zombie, Metallica, Megadeth, Anthrax. You know, Slayer. that comes through in the play. Yeah, you know? so that's and that's like you see him and you're like, you're Yo, the metal dude. You're the yeah. metal dude in this band. Pantera, you know, yeah. Corrosion of Conformity. Yo, for all sure, that I could see a little Maiden thrown in there. You know. Yeah, I not. Know. I mean, none of us were huge Maiden. Maiden. F- Fans, yeah, yeah, but not no one was like a real maiden diehard, which I think that's where we all got into hardcore, you know what I mean? So it's like through metal, you get into thrash and then you get into hardcore, and like through punk rock, you get into like straight faced and H2O and like sick of it all, and then you're just into hardcore, yeah, you're already there and you didn't even know. So you have those different gateways, and then you find out about those other bands through other stuff. I mean, for some of it, like like I said, like growing up skateboarding, I also grew up snowboarding, like a huge thing. So like watching snowboard videos, yo, those music, it's like the I mean, soundtracks of that. You're like, oh, who's Anthrax? Oh, yeah, exactly. Bird, there was a bird right there. I thought that bird was gonna land on your head. It, it would have sh- been pretty killer. Cool, that would have been awesome. Oh, it's gone. Oh, he stole That's- your soul. And then he's gone. I'm so yeah, that's done. us growing up. That's Cancer Rats growing up in a nutshell. That's fucking awesome. No.
like when you start your band, you kind of have like very specific ideas of like what you want to do. Like you're like, I'm going to, you know, we want to sound like this and that and that. And then you do that. And then you go, ah, oh, oh, wait, wait, okay. So we did that record. Yeah. Now. Like we do. So what do we, what do we do? Yeah. What do we, do? Yeah, what yeah, do, we yeah. do from there? And then that's when you start looking back like, well, we can't, you're not going to look to like all the bands that you're playing with right now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, for sure. So then it's like, then you start looking back on what you originally were psyched on, you know? So instead of just looking at like all the punk rock and hardcore that we listen to, it's like, well, like, I love Led Zeppelin. Like, I love Black, you know, like Black Flag. Like, I love Black Sabbath. Sabbath. You know? And Huge. like, so it's like looking at all of that older stuff and being like ACDC. Like, yo, these are all sure. like the like monumental things that shaped us. As and kids. then you're like, yo, wait, we didn't have enough classic rock sound in our first record. You know what? Maybe we could add some of that in. Black. <laughs> you know? But that's what you that's what you start like listening to, because it's like you realize that that's where every like all of those other bands that we look up to, like that's where they get their, you know what I mean, inspiration from. Because it's like it it doesn't directly make sense, but when you look at like you know, like people always go like, oh, every time I die, and Cancer Bats sound a lot alike. And it's yeah. like, yeah, because we all love Black Sabbath and Entombed, and you know what I mean. And no, like, for sure, there are these bigger bands that shaped who we are, and not so much like not like it's a coincidence. No, you know I mean, mean it's the same way that the Pixies shaped grunge in a, in yeah, a certain yeah, yeah, way. Yeah, you yeah, know? exactly. It wasn't direct, but yeah. all these bands loved them. And it came through, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, so even like that, like going back and looking at, like, for us, like being super into the Melvins, you know, Yo. and still being super into the Melvins, but it's like going back and listening to those old records and listening to, like, you know, like when we used to, like, when we were kids and we were getting from punk rock, we were getting into grunge. And it's like, oh yeah, like Soundgarden, you know Yo. what I mean? Like old Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, like, that sounds like metal. You know what I mean? Like those bands were like so heavy back in the day. But you Going don't think back about and it. listening to it though, you don't realize it until you're like, oh shit, ten years later, that was fucking amazing. Like, yeah. Or it's like you did at the time, but in a lot of ways, like I think you can't appreciate something when you're 15 as much as you can when you're 25. That's just it. You, you know have a I mean? new perspective. You're on just it. dealing with boners when you're 15. Yeah, seriously. You're just trying to figure it out. <laughs> just trying to get through high school. You don't have time to sit back and really like take shit in. No, fucking A. Anyways, this is fucking Liam from Cancer Bats, and I'm Gideon from the Round Table. Give us a little.